In this video, we're gonna do a quick overview of four different data structures in Python. All right, so let's get into it. And in the next few videos, we're gonna go through four different data structures. And this video right here is kind of like an introduction to those data structures. So you can kind of see the difference between them. Uh, the four structures we're gonna go through are lists, tuples, sets, and the dictionary structure. And basically there's two different um, elements that define these structures. First is if they're ordered or not. And second is if they're mutable or immutable. So order means if they are in an order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. That's like an order. They stay in that order and they don't change order randomly, right? Mutable means that it can be changed. So you can add to it, subtract from it, drop something, add something, etc. It's mutable, mutates, mutable versus immutable means that what it is is what it is. So I think like the best way to put it is like as a uh, grid coordinates, like grid coordinates to your house don't change, right? Like your house is where your house is. Like unless there's an earthquake or something, your house isn't gonna shift. Like those grid coordinates are immutable. They don't change. Whereas like your personal grid coordinates, like where you are at a given time, that is mutable. So that could change. Like depending on where you are in the world, you're gonna have different co grid coordinates. So. Things that don't change are immutable. Things that change are mutable. And then order means like it's in an order, right? Hopefully that's making some sense and you'll see it as we go through the next few videos, uh, what ordered means and what mutable means. So lists are ordered, so they're in an order. They're mutable, so we can change them. And then how we construct lists are with brackets like this, those square brackets, or we can use the list constructor right here. And basically a list would be the brackets and then the list of items in that list. So apples, bananas, pears, and they're in an order. So this would always be first, second, third, unless we did a method or something to change the order of the items in the list because it's mutable and we could change things. So the next structure we're gonna talk about are tuples and they're ordered, so they are in an order. And, but they are immutable, which means you can't change the items in a tuple. The items in a tuple are the items. Like you can't change the items out. And then to use the constructor for tuples, there's the parentheses, or we could use the tuple constructor. And this is essentially what a tuple looks like when broken down. The next structure we have are sets. Now sets are not ordered, which means like if you print a set, like every time you print it, it's gonna be in a different order. It doesn't matter. Uh, sets are very useful for re removing duplicate values as well and some other things. There's some uses for these unordered sets uh, that we'll get into in the sets video. They're also mutable, so we can add things to sets, subtract things from sets, etc. So, of course, some pros and cons with doing that. To set up a set, we can use the squirrely brackets or the set constructor. And so this is what a set of information looks like. And then the fourth structure we're gonna go over are dictionaries. Now dictionaries are not ordered per se, and they're not mutable per se, so they're immutable. Now note, dictionaries are broken into keys. So like apples here is a key, and then values. So the value is one. Uh, bananas is a key, and the value is four. Pears is a key, the value is two. So Keys are immutable. Like we can't change the apples key or the bananas key or the pears key, but we could change the value of those keys. So instead of apples being one, we could have apples be two or seven or whatever. Like apples in our basket, we have seven. So we could change the value, but we can't change the key itself. And then the constructor for dictionaries are squirrely brackets as well. But when you start adding the colon with the value, uh, it knows that you're building a dictionary instead of a set. And as far as ordered is concerned, dictionaries are somewhat ordered, you could say, because depending on your keys is how your dictionary is ordered. So it doesn't matter where in the dictionary your keys are, but if you order, order your keys in a certain way, then your dictionary is in an order, so to say. So dictionaries are interesting, and of course we're gonna cover them in great detail in the dictionaries video. 
So that's it. I just want to do a brief overview of the structures we're going to be going over, talk a little bit about ordered and mutable and the constructors and so on. So you've seen it and hopefully things start going around in your head. And as we go through some practical examples in the following videos, it's going to make sense what ordered means, mutable means, set, list, dictionary, tuple, etc. All that's going to click together. And that's it for this video. If it was helpful and you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a comment like, subscribe, anything like that. And I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.